In this tutorial, I will show you how to use a student's IEP goals to create a data sheet. First thing you're going to do is make sure you're logged into the correct account you want associated with the data sheet and go ahead and select a blank document from Google Forms. Once you have the blank document up, you're going to first title the form. Okay, in this example, the title will be Student IEP Goals, and this is Staff Collected Data. Okay, and then click the upper left hand corner and it'll auto populate the title of the document. Next, you're going to select check boxes and the question will be which goals did the student work on today? Usually when I do these goal sheets, I have them filled out every day by the staff. So we're going to go ahead and put in the goals directly from the student's IEP as they correspond on the IEP. So goal number one from the IEP will be goal number one on this data sheet. And I always abbreviate the goal. I don't write the entire goal as it's written in the IEP. So for this first goal, I'm going to put student will follow appropriate street crossing procedures with 100% accuracy. Uh, for the second example goal, I will put student will complete multi-step directions with no more than one verbal prompt. Okay. And for the third goal, Let's put, okay, student will use the dollar a method to pay for items up to $5 with no more than one verbal prompt. Okay, and for this example, I will only include three goals. Most students will probably have more than three, but I think that gives you a good understanding. So now I'm going to select paragraph for the second question, and I'm going to ask to please include notes on goal progress. Okay, and then specifically, I want the goal number. I want to know how the student worked on the goal. Okay, and then how did the student do? How did they perform on the goal? Okay. So now that my data sheet is done, I'm going to go ahead and customize it a little bit and select a theme. Okay, I'm going to try something different for this one. Here we go. Okay, so I selected a theme and now I'm going to go ahead and preview the goal sheet. So when staff fills out the goal sheet, they'll go ahead and check the boxes for the goal that the student completed and provide the notes on the goal progress. So in this example, the student worked on goal number one for the day and the student followed the correct street crossing procedure Okay, the procedure is left, right, left, then the student says clear, and 
put the amount of trials. So in this particular day, the student crossed three streets in the community, so I'm going to include that. And then the second goal the student worked on for the day was goal number three. And the student was able to use the dollar up method to pay for an item. So I'm just going to include the details about that, how the, stu how the student did on that goal. Okay. All right, so I recorded my answers. I hit submit. And so now the response has been recorded. So I'm just going to go back to the main page here and I'll click on responses. And then it shows that I have two responses now. Um, and it breaks down the percentage and also it'll show the individual responses. So with these responses, I can view um, response one and two by clicking on the arrow. I can print the responses. I can delete them. I could also go up here and I can download the responses and that'll save it on your computer. You could print all responses, so if you have five responses from staff, it'll print all five of the um, of the responses that you got, and it'll chart the data. So um, whenever I use this sheet, I send it to staff using their district email, and then they're able to fill it out and submit it to me. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.